Hello there beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. We are going to be doing the highly requested calves workout. We are going to be burning up our calves for 10 minutes and it is going to be a challenge, I kid you not. If you like this kind of video, please give it a big thumbs up, click subscribe and share this channel with a friend. I'm really investing a lot more of my time into making these videos for you guys and yeah, if you like the channel then sharing it is one way in which you can support me. Make sure that you check out my Instagram. I post loads of healthy recipes and workouts on there too. I also ask for video requests so if you ever want to get through a video request to me then definitely comment it on one of my Instagram pictures. Join me on Facebook and Twitter and make sure that you check out my website drsarahsiena.com. And without further ado let's get into the workout. You ready? All right, let's get straight into the workout. We are gonna be starting with the super simple but very effective calf raise. So I want you to stand with your feet around about shoulder width apart, ready and go. Raising up the body from a flat foot to your tippiest toes, controlling the movement, contracting the calf muscles, the gastrocnemius, and keeping the core nice and tight, remaining in good form, shoulders relaxed. You're just basically picking up the weight of your body using um, your lower legs. So keep the movement controlled, try and remain balanced. Do come down to a flat foot position and then rise all the way up, really intentionally squeezing the calf muscles and relax for 20 seconds. The next exercise that we'll be doing are some plie squats. So you're gonna come into a squatting position with the feet turned out to about 45 degrees. And then we're gonna do that with the heels raised, ready and go. So heels up, standing on kind of the balls of your feet. Um, so the middle of the foot. I want you to squat back, keeping a nice good position. Um, really feeling that tension as, as you as you squat down. So obviously you're getting a good workout in your quads and hamstrings and glutes, um, but we are also using the calves by keeping the weight lifted a little bit so the heel just slightly off the ground, controlling the movement. If you feel like you're losing your balance, just hold on to a wall um, to stabilize you um, or hold on to a chair in front of you, or you can sit back to a chair and relax. Next exercise we're doing are some bunny hops. Now, I want to explain these so that you can do them properly. So if we kind of zoom in on my feet there, you'll see that I'm actually pointing my toes up. So I'm tapping the floor with the middle of my foot and I'm bringing the toes as though they're pointing up. So really lifting that foot ready and go. Um, so keeping a nice straight leg, I want you to try and get some quite powerful bunny hops. So we're not, you know, squatting all the way down and doing some explosive squat jump, but we are using the calves to really just pop up off the ground. Um, so I want you to imagine that you're keeping your toes pointed towards the ceiling and you're just kind of tapping off the ground and lifting your weight off. So it's quite an explosive movement, even though it is quick and repetitive. Um, you might get a little bit breathless, but really try and be as almost explosive as you can with that, but keeping the movement in the ankle joint. And relax, well done. Don't worry if you didn't quite get that the first time, we will be doing it again in a little while, but we're gonna move on to some floor taps, which again is a similar movement, but looking at the zoomed in version there, you can just see that I'm really just tapping, intentionally kind of putting that force onto the floor with each foot ready and go. So I don't want you to be passive about this. This isn't some little flutter. And um, we are keeping the feet at kind of like a 90 degree angle. So the ankle should be about a 90 degree angle. The legs are nice and straight and you're just tapping off the floor, really contracting that um, calf muscle very quickly, but bringing it up off the floor, keeping the toes pointed up and um, switching from leg to leg. Keep the core nice and tight, shoulders back and relax, good posture as you alternate from leg to leg, being intentional and strong with that floor tap movement. And relax, well done. The next exercise we are going into are single leg calf raise. So we're just intensifying uh, that movement, isolating each leg. I love to um, work the legs separately to make sure that you are really, you know, we all have a dominant side, so you wanna make sure you're activating both sides, ready and go. So you can hold onto a wall for support or a chair or whatever, or just keep your balance if you're a little bit better than me. <laughs> um, and then you just wanna, again, raise the weight of the body onto the ball of the foot, um, 
getting that kind of increased weight load through the one leg, coming back down to the heel. Don't let your knee go in front of the foot so you are sitting back a little bit as well. Keeping good posture, intentionally squeezing that calf muscle. Doing really well. Make sure you're wearing good shoes, by the way, for this workout and relax. So make sure that you're wearing supportive footwear for this workout because you don't want to stress um, the arch of your foot. So I personally have quite flat feet, so I do use um, insoles. And um, so I am wearing supportive trainers to do this workout and switch to the other leg to balance it out. Gotta keep both calves even, ready and go. Lifting up the weight of the body using that calf muscle, really contracting as you plantar flex the foot. So that is kind of push the foot almost into the ground, coming up as high as you can, but keeping it nice and slow and controlled. You're doing really well. Can you feel the burn yet? I hope you can. Keep going, just a few more. Intentional mind to muscle connection. And relax. Awesome, you can stretch out each calf by the way as you go. You don't wanna get like cramp or anything. So yeah, feel free to stretch it out. And then we are going back in with some good old trusted calf raises. I know that we've just done them on each leg, but as I said, we did not come to play. You ready? And go. Feet about shoulder width apart, from flat foot to pointiest tippy toes. Keeping it controlled, remembering good posture. So locking in that pelvic tilt by contracting the abdominal muscles. Shoulders back and relaxed, breathing through the movement, being intentional, intentional, squeezing those calves. Remember that your body is a weight. So I know that we love to get under iron and lift some weights, but actually your body is a weight. So we are lifting up that weight. And relax, well done. Then we are gonna go in with the plie squats. And um, so as you can see on the left, feet nice and wide apart at a kind of 90 degree angle, not letting your knees come in front of the toes, but lifting the heel ever so slightly as we work the legs, ready and go. Do not follow what I'm doing on the right. I got so confused <laughs> and I just decided to leave it in to show you that, you know, I obviously don't do everything perfectly the first time either. So don't worry, just follow what I'm doing on the left. My body just got so confused then and I didn't know what I was doing. But then I'm back at it, squatting down, keeping the heels slightly raised, really working those muscles, getting in a little bit of thigh work as well, which is just a, just a little bonus as we exercise. Exercise is great for your health. Keep pushing through and relax. Awesome. Cool, so then we're gonna go back in with the bunny hops. Again, keeping focused on the way that you are doing this. Think of it almost like an explosive squat jump, but for the calves, if that makes sense. Ready and go. Keeping that foot cocked as in the toes points in the ceiling. Someone told me that they weren't used to the term cocking your foot, um, so sorry if you're not, but keeping that foot up, landing on the middle of the foot, so like the balls of the feet, jumping up, being nice and explosive with it. You, you'll naturally get a slight bend in the leg, but just know that the power is not coming from the knee joint or you know the bending the knees and going down into a squat. It's coming from that movement at the angle, at the ankle, the very quick movement, striking the floor, and relax. A little bit breathless, but working the calves well. Then we're going in with some floor taps again, keeping that straight leg movement intentionally putting pressure, like striking the floor and coming back up from one leg to the other. So you are doing a really quick plantar flexion against the floor, ready and go, squeezing the calves. So you're essentially just moving at the ankle joint, but staying on the balls of the feet. So your heels aren't really touching the floor. You're just switching from one midfoot to the other, being powerful with it intentionally, like tapping the floor very quickly. So it's a quick movement, but you're being intentional with it, with that really quick calf muscle squeeze. Doing really well, keeping the toes kind of pointed up. I hope this is making sense for you guys. 
and relax well done and that's it you did it wow i almost lost track you did it well done thank you so much for doing this workout with me please let me know how you found it in the comments definitely click subscribe for more videos and um yeah just have a great day have a blessed day love you guys bye